Praise the Lord, my daily Bible study friends. Today is another fantastic fun Friday. Let's everybody put our biblical thinking caps on and try to remember back to Monday when we talked about this very subject. Fasting, lesson one. I never got into diets. Oh yeah, neither have I, but I'm not talking about a diet here. We're talking about fasting before the Lord. So let's have the first question. There is a book in the Bible which is known for teaching and dealing with fasting and the scriptures. What is that book and chapter? Is it A, Daniel, the 10th chapter? Is it B, Matthew, the 6th chapter? Is it C, Isaiah 58? Or is it D, Amos, the 3rd chapter? And the answer is C, Isaiah 58. And again, the answer was C, Isaiah 58. And by the time it gets to the third verse, it's really into it. The the third verse says, Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our souls, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast you find pleasure, and exact all your labors. By now we know that Isaiah 58 is the fasting chapter. What are the first four words in Isaiah 58, 1? Is it, thus saith the Lord? A. Is it B. Come down and sit? Is it C. Comfort ye, comfort ye? Or is it D. Cry aloud, spare not? And the answer is D, cry aloud, spare not. Isaiah 58, 1, cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. And for our next question, which is not a good reason to fast? A, to loose the bands of wickedness. Is it B, to be heard on high? Is it C, that you break every yoke? Or is it D, that you undo the heavy burdens? Which is not a good reason to fast. And the scripture you're looking for is B, to be heard on high. According to Isaiah 58 and 4, Behold, ye fast for strife and debate, to smite with the fists of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day, to make your voice to be heard on high. Isaiah 58 and 4. And by contrast, Isaiah 58 and 6, Is not this the fast that I have chosen, to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke? And for our final question, please fill in the blank. And if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light arise in obscurity and thy darkness shall be as the new day. And the Lord shall blank thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden, like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. Again, fill in the blank. The Lord shall blank thee continually. So, for instance, will God A, feed you continually? Will he B, help you continually? Will he C, teach you continually? Or D, he will guide you continually? And the answer that you seek is guide. In Isaiah 58 and 11, 
and the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden, like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. And that concludes another fantastic edition of Fantastic Fabulous Fun Friday. I hope that you did very well, and as always, I love to hear your comments and how you did. So please comment in the section, love, like, and share, and I will again share my love with you. God keep you and watch you today in Jesus' name. I love you all, my friends, my family. God bless.